they they are uh, channel rewards. They are channel rewards. So let me quickly show people what I'm talking about. So weak. <laughs> um, I'm not affiliate. I'd never want to be affiliate because I don't want money, and I won't be partner. Therefore, um, so I'm not tied to Twitch's point system. However, Stream Elements does have a bot, and I do the point system through that. So you can redeem things on my channel. It's just through Stream Elements. So here are some things that can be redeemed. Oh yeah, I'll put the. Uh... Put that in here. So anyway, here are some of the redeems. This is not exhaustive. At some point, if you stick around a bit longer, you might be able to claim some of these. Maybe the um, points seem a bit outlandish, such as this. But this is because I'm trying to do them uh, in order. The Earthbound is Mother 2. I would prefer to do Mother 1 first, and then 3, and so on and so forth. So that's why some of these look a bit silly. Yeah. But we got some good stuff in there. So if you're around long enough and you're interested, you can claim that stuff. Alright, back to finishing the game. Let's try to finish the game, Aaron. Stay on point. Yes, Jaddy took it very hard. I can't help it. I laugh, and I think in so doing, I let her win. I tell her I missed her. I missed you too, Sable. I'm happy you came back. Though I can practically see the pout beneath her mask, I'm impressed at how genuine she's able to sound. Even if you don't end up staying long. Are you going to cry if I leave again? I don't think so. For two reasons. She counts them off on her fingers. Fun, yes. But it's usually going through puzzle dungeons with an honestly fairly barren and empty overworld. Yeah. I, I hate it like when um, it doesn't feel like it's part. If it's like just a, a layer on top. And it doesn't kind of... If it feels like it's just drawing out your attention, drawing out your time, and it doesn't fully integrate, it pisses me off. Yeah. I don't know if I explained that clearly, but... One, because it's already happened once, so now I'm used to it. Two, because soon it's going to be my gliding, which I'm going to stay on forever. So I can just go on my bike and chase you down wherever you go. I tell Sami she can't stay on the gliding forever, and that she'll have to choose a mask. Then I'll choose the mask of the bounty hunter. No such thing, darling. I say that isn't a real mask. Yes, it is. I say it's not. She shrugs. Yes, she didn't find it. I tell it no, it isn't real, and if it was real, I would have found it. I don't think so. It's really hard to find. That's part of it. To become a hunter, you have to be a hunter. I ready my next response, but choose to hold my tongue, lest I lose what maturity I gained on my gliding. Saima makes a broad gesture that I think is meant to emulate the knocking of an arrow with a bow. Good luck, Sable. I'm thinking of choosing the beetle mask. I replayed it a few times. Yes, I need to be part of Stream Elements to look at those. Uh, no. No. Um, if you, um watch the channel then you get points so right now like if, if you followed that um that link it will take you to the store page which is just like a redeem sort of list but you can also look at other things let me see if i can find it oh did i put in the wrong list yeah i did oops so ignore, ignore my last list. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, this one's uh, the publicly viewable one. 
and up the top you'll find you know such things as the leaderboard I haven't looked at the leaderboard for a long time I'm not sure if I can make the leaderboard private I'm not sure if people would, would prefer it be private I'm not even sure I can do it though oh wow Trez got a lot I've got a stupid number of points only because I wanted to test some things um I did redeem F0 and I shouldn't have but I, I just wanted to try it you know so where's Mr. Magoo you're here somewhere Mr. Magoo Where are you? You're number 29 with 4,500 points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, sorry, that was my fault. I asked Simon what, uh, would, asked what Simon would think if I chose the beta mask. I think you'd look pretty silly. But you'd look silly in every mask. Hmm. Weak showing. Need to up my game. Mission accepted. And fair enough. So I think it'll be pretty easy for people to get points now because um, I did try in the beginning to do giveaways, but um, no one was um, buying the tickets. So what I should do instead, I should start the giveaway, and I think there's an option to give a free ticket to everyone. I should probably do that. Free ticket to everyone, and then yeah, because I can allocate points, and I can take away points. You can't do that with the Twitch system, but you can do it with this. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to introduce gambling mechanics here because it's a bit, it's a bit too much for me. But um, yeah, I think. I think it would be a lot like getting to play all the time and having a lot of pets. Plus, maybe you get to speak beetle language. I always... I always... I see beetles. Okay, game. Okay. It's time to stop posting. I always... I see beetles go up to each other and do dances and click around and hiss and everything. And maybe they're saying things. Maybe they are. So if you want to speak beetle, you could do that. He shrugs. I don't know. All masks are different, and it's not really going to matter once I'm on my gliding and get to come and visit you. I asked Simon if she means come and bother me. If you're bothered, that's you, but I'm going to come and visit. Can't help but laugh. I tell her I'm looking forward to it. Alright. Who are you again? You're the one that fucked up my... No. You're... Galal. You're the one that gave me my gliding stone. No, you're not. You're just damn it. So Hilal must be there with the uh, um, the robot leg. Hello, Sable. Is there something I want to discuss with Driss? How's the uh, Ku Klux Klan been? Hey, Hulk like as ever, which I think you should be pretty happy about. Ask Driss what he thinks I'd want. Why he thinks I magnet. I asked Drisk why he thinks I'll want that for him. Because it means it wasn't you. What was it mean? It means that you left on your gliding and things stayed exactly as chaotic as they've always been. Which means... I opt not to suggest that it means Driss himself is so scattered that everything will always feel chaotic. I really have matured. You're not the problem. How nice for me. I think about choosing the scrapper mask. No, I'm not. The scrapper's mask. You, really? I'll tell you, Sable. I wouldn't have pegged you for it, but you've always had quite the imagination, haven't you? More of an inner monologue. Yes, well, I think that's a good trait for a scrapper. You need to be able to see the beauty in the scraps, you know? And that takes a very creative brain. I think a lot of folks see scrappers and think they're just rubbish pickers, you know? Well, but if you look at something old and dream up something new, and I think you've got it. And I'd support you every scrap of the way. Thanks. Reesh. Uh, I'd like to relitigate. <laughs> I asked Drisk once and for all if on that fateful day on my gliding, he had actually forgotten to help out with my bike. And if the test run on the sand cutter was a sly cover-up. He 
Oxy's head. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I tell Driss he knows very well what I'm talking about, but he shakes his head. No idea. I remember the whole bike thing going very smoothly. Plus, you took that sand cutter out and you didn't even get a little bit on fire. Great stuff. I accept Driss's response. I suppose even the gliding can't be the answers to all things. Okay. Cool. Who are you? Zeki, my child, welcome home. Is that mummy? Is that mummy? Have you been taking care of yourself? You were rather bony. Are you well? Zeki fusses over me. She would always look for reasons to take care for us. Take care? I can't remember. That's no good at all. Not good at all. We'll have to fix you up with some of Jaddy's lamb stew. I'm involuntarily salivating at the thought. It's good to be back. Where have you been? After you left, we headed to some old Ibexi campsites. Places we used before you were born. Going back, it was beautiful. The land flourishes when you leave it for so long. Each place transformed with life and abundant with things to forage since we were last there. Once we leave the Ewer, we will not be coming back for a long time. It needs time to recover from nourishing us. Okay, I might choose the Entertainer's Mask. Oh, an Entertainer's Mask. I see you were kept busy with young ones on your gliding tomb. Everybody needs a bit of levity now and then. It's an important part of life, valued by many. But you know the Ibexi are not in a position to accommodate such trifles. Fun and games are just that. If you pick this mask, you will have to find a richer clan to join. We can't afford it. I hope you think carefully about what mask you choose, Sable. Mmm. She's fully against the entertainment mask. Galau. Oh, Sable, it's so good to have you home. Oh, hi, Mark. I thought about you so much, just imagining all the excitement. Uh, every time we passed the cliffside, I thought, I bet Sable's just hovering everywhere. What do you think of the climber's mask? I ask Lau what they think of the climber's mask. They lit up straight away, which I think I should have expected. A brilliant mask. There's a lot of really good masks, obviously. But climbing? If you ask me, the worst part of the gliding's end is losing the perpetual stone. Hover forever to fear nothing from heights or falls. That is an uncommon freedom, and you have to let it go. To me, climbing is the closest thing one gets to keeping that connection between oneself and the perpetual. Just as the stone does, it banishes fear and risk, lets you explore the world's great vertical spaces with knowledge and fortitude. I think it's a great mask, and probably would have been my choice had I not fallen so much in love with the Abexi. Thank you, Lau, for the thoughts, and again for the stone they gave me so long ago. Have you heard of Lahore, the fabulous? Oh, of course I have. Not much for travel, you know. But not two years ago, I made a special trip to Acria just to see her. Why? I tell Hillel I met her out in the desert and that we spent a whole evening talking about life and poetry. I add that I think I may have inspired some original work. It's amazing. So you think... Sorry, I'm so excited. So you think it's possible the next time I see Lahore? She might actually read a poem that you inspired? Yes, that is quite possible. Now that is a gliding. Who cares what mask you choose? You got to hover around the world and you inspired Lahore the Fabulous to write a new poem. If I were you, I'd put on my retirement mask because I'd be done. We laugh together and it feels really, really good. Alright, one more and then Jaddy. Welcome back. I don't remember the last time I heard Uma speak. Maybe to yell a warning, but never to converse. It takes me a moment to think of something to reply. How have you been? Uma shrugged silently. I think that's all I'm gonna get for him on that. Did you miss me? He emits a low grunt and what sounds like a chuckle. I think that means he missed me. Alright. It's time. What mask do I choose? Do I become one with the chum? I feel that's only appropriate. I really do, but here are our choices. I can become the whale ship. Cartographer. The child. The chum. Climber. 
Machinist. The Entertainer. Guard. The Beetle. The Bexy. The Merchant. The Scrapper. Or the Shade of Acria. I really do think I want to be a little cummy. Cummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Yep. It's the, uh, the cum life for me. I mean, the chum life. What to do? Being back with the Abexi is more comfortable than I, ex uh, uh, than I expected. I think I thought the gliding would change every part of me and that I would become, then I would come home different. Perhaps more mature, or more jaded, or at least able to grasp more of Driss's jokes or Hilal's poetry. The actual change is more subtle, and it's that somehow, despite spending so much time discovering the world beyond, I've never felt more like a part of this clan. The Ku Klux Klan. And it is about being a Bexy, or which mask I ultimately choose. It's simply that I no longer feel so left behind everyone. Or like they know some grown-up secret I yearn to understand. I feel embraced, holy, as the person I am. Sable. So now we've heard your stories, or at least the ones you're happy to tell. That means it's nearly time now. Jaddy's sigh is contented. Contended? Contended? Hmm. I suspect that she was more concerned with my experience of the gliding than the grand choice at its end. For that, I am grateful. Are you ready to choose? Am I? So this one would make you a clans member. I'm ready to choose. I won't keep you, Sable. You know what you want, then all I desire is to learn what that is and celebrate it with you. I'm allowed to be excited too, aren't I? She chuckles. Whenever you're ready, proceed to the temple. Okay, so it's not quite it. Fuck. Is there something I wanted to discuss? Okay. Disable. No, I've spoken to everyone. I am going to just... Wind Tower. No. No. Burnt Oak. No, it's going to force me. I'm going to be forced. I'll take my bike. Okay, good. Cutscene. Cutscene. What's this music? anymore. That was weird. Come here, bitch. I am walking to the temple. What the fuck? <laughs> Where's my Uber? God damn it. Fuck. Alright then. I know, right? I don't know if the cutscene glitched out or whatever. I'll, I'll look on um, YouTube later. This game's got a fair few uh, glitches here and there. But it's whatever. Okay. Is that the entrance entrance? Alright. 
Here we go. Betrayed. It's time for me to uh, become a little cummy. Uh, a chummy. A chum queen. A chum queen. A chum dumpster. I'm ready. Look at all these chickens. Oh shit, I'm surrounded. Oh wow, you can see all the, the, the faces. I just I choose one of them you got the entertainer you got the machinist you got the shade of Ecria you got the uh, the whale ship you got the guard you got cummy you Bexy mm, merchant the uh, cartographer the beetle, climbing mask, and the scrapper mask. It's time to become a cummy. Get hope. Oh, is it? Can I become a cummy? Please, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me be a cummy queen. A chummy queen. A chum dumpster. Do I just... Are they going to force me to get... Mmm, I don't like this. Okay, so choose the mask. Oh, wait, wait, I see something. Do I want to choose the cum mask? Yes. An unusual mask. Not one I've seen anyone else wear. I would certainly feel special wearing this as I bound across the dunes, collecting ever more chums for the queen. Is it the sort of thing other people would understand? Would I be, the, uh, would I be an outlier? A weirdo obsessive chasing down elusive mysterious creatures for an ancient telepathic creature? I certainly doubt the Abexi would be pleased to accommodate me gallivanting around collecting useless things. But when I think back to the feeling of returning uh, the small creatures to their lair, to their joyous little faces dancing around, dancing away, and their happy mother tending to them, I can't help feel that perhaps this will give me some kind of greater purpose. Is that what I want? I want to become one with the cum, I mean the chum. I feel a buzz of excitement at the thought of gathering dozens of eggs in my arms yet again, seeing the delight of the chum queen as I return back to their den. No turning back now. The true ending of the game. Oh. Nice. Goodbye, vibrator. Bye bye. Wow, what is this?
this ending. the end music. I'll take the strike. abrupt achieving unlocked the gliding I did it and I have become the cum queen uh, the chum queen is that it is there new game plus can I collect more uh, chums let me try continue please let me Please give me the ability to continue playing this game at at the uh, the save point. Okay, so it um it does it from the point that I'm okay okay okay. Cool, very cool. So I could, if I want to, later I could just uh, take a cruise. Just like that. I'd like that. But, uh... That's gonna be it. Sable. Um... A pretty nice experience. A pretty nice experience. Not um, without its glitches, but it was just the right amount of game, I feel. I think I would have sunk about, I want to say, between 25 and 30 hours into this. Yeah. Is it worth your money? If you're not, like, if you don't care if it's like a once, uh, a once playthrough for yourself, and it's on sale, yeah, for sure. Grab it. I mean, what other game is similar to this from what you've seen? It's not perfect, but... Hmm. GG. GG. That's all I have to say about that.